okay so here goes the 11th video I've copied it and I'm pasting it here right let's uncomment it so this is going to be a lot of customization which uh, we would like to see on our globe over here so what we are going to do is basically try to get uh, um, a natural earth interface as the uh, default interface right now it's I believe this is Bing map so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get this particular interface uh, overlay as the default one which is being specified here imagery provider new CCM tile map service imagery provider stuff then uh, I'm going to have this animation part removed this particular part removed uh, which is a boolean so animation is false then the home button I don't want the home button I don't want the base layer picker I don't want the info box I don't want the timeline I don't want the navigational instruments uh, initially uh, visible Th that's the part where a uh, box appears here uh, with this yeah this particular box appears which I don't want that um, then what then the scene mode should be Columbus view which is this 2.5D this is how I want the default view to be in and then I want the global lighting to be enabled by default okay so this is the piece of code which we'll be using going forward so let's take a look at this code let me click on a refresh so saw the daylight saw the other buttons have disappeared here saw this particular thing and the timeline has disappeared the animation stuff and everything has disappeared okay so uh, that's for this particular video let's see if we can get the 12th video in here yeah sure we, we can so control C so what we'll do is going forward we'll try to overwrite it that's much more easier this is the 12th exercise okay have it saved and also I'm going to delete off all the previous things if at all something is required I always have the notes which I can look into okay so okay so what we are going to do is here we are drawing a circle as well as a square square and a circle okay so the first instance this is the first instance okay of uh, geometry which is going to bear the rectangle all right there is another instance which we are creating geometry instance that is going to bear circle geometry so uh, since we have instance and geometry instance that needs to be called inside here okay inside a square bracket something like an array okay if we add it up like this then we would have both of them getting displayed okay so i don't think so we need to go down in depth of the code because it's the same so the only thing which would differ in the future videos would be to assign different appearances okay right now it's going to be dot material for both of them let's go back there click on refresh okay right now it's dot material for both of them so and and probably one is at a height hovering height as well so saw so the circle is at a height of some kilometer you see the sun down there funny isn't it we always say the sun is up here and I happen to say sun is down there because this seems to be up oh. pathetic joke ok no problem uh, let's go on with uh, exercise 13 so here what we are going to do is we are going to uh, assign their own attributes all right so let's copy this 13th exercise this one would require a bit of a comparison so i'm not going to overwrite it rather and comment this part and comment this part super save it now if we were to go down here we see the appearance is the only thing which is going to get defined 
where in both the square and the circle is getting invoked correct but here what we do is we give one more thing of attributes okay the attributes is what is defined inside the rectangle geometry itself so the attributes could hold uh, a color geometry instance attribute so one could have one color uh, this is basically rgb i guess uh, we can go inside and have a look uh, it should be color geometry instance attribute okay so so it's going to be red green blue and alpha okay color geometry instance attribute uh we are defining red for square red blue what was the other one blue red green and blue so blue would be the circle okay and we are calling both the instances and the appearance is going to be per instance color appearance okay so let's go back there click on refresh so what are we going to get and voila so here you see a blue color circle and a red color square uh, the black dots on it is got to do nothing to do with the cesium code rather it has probably something to do with my computer um, wherein this color is not properly rendered uh, for some strange reason so uh, that's it for this video folks uh, thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye